So we are going to do a cataract surgery uh, by phacomalcification technique, stop and chop technique. Uh, draping is done. Now I cut the drape at the middle and The speculum is applied, drop niation, nichetakam, in such a way that the eyelid margin is nicely covered. See the shoja madhi ke takhan, ek tu baadhi ke. Baadhi ke. Baadhi ke, aapnar baadhi ke. There's a two eyelashes here, I'm just trimming these two eyelashes. Now, the microscope is uh, Lumera T from Jais and the fecomation is Oatly Catrix 3. Drop. We are going to do the surgery under topical anesthesia. My routine is I place the main incision first. You can place the uh, side port first. Shoja dakan ever. Shoja light it dikha dakan. Light it dikha, light it dikha. So this is the site of main incision. Go forward for a distance. And then go downward. And thus the main incision is made. This is a combination of uh, gylocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine. This could be. So the light is given. Now I fill up the anterior chamber with SPMC. अपने नीचे कर दिए चाहिए तो अपने टेक टू चुप करों ये वाले था कौन बेस ये वाले था क्या था द साइड पोर्ट शुड बी मेड अबाउट 90 डिग्री अवे फ्रॉम द मेन इंसिशन सो इस सिलेक्ट दिस साइड हियर And now capsular axis. I raise a capsular tag, hold this capsular tag and go anti-clockwise. You can do clockwise if you feel comfortable. Then you have to hold the other side of the cleft. And now hydro dissection. Press on the nucleus and rotate in the nucleus. If it is now doesn't rotate, that means the capsulocortical adhesion is still there. So you can do some more hydro and then try to rotate. And now we are going to make a trench, divide the nucleus into two halves and then emulsify each nuclear half. 90 vacuum. At this time setting is, vacuum is less, I am using 90 millimeter of mercury vacuum, 25 aspiration flow rate and 60% power. So I go in, aspirate some cortex, enjoy, enjoy action. 
turn the handpiece, make the bevel up. And now I select the side where I will go. This is the, through the center I will make a trench. Appropriate amount of power has to be used. Do not push the nucleus like this. I will apply ultrasonic energy, cut the matter in front and move. The lens mass doesn't move. I will just cut the matter in front and move forward. Here I should not go deep. I have to come upward from here. Rotate it. Change the other side. The central part little more. Now I can see faint red glow at the bottom of the trench. So this is the time to separate this. Go to the bottom, to the floor of this trench and separate it like this. And now I will go to higher vacuum, vacuum to bottom, 350, 400 gram. 400. Oh, 400. So using 400 vacuum, fluoride 40 gram, 45 fluoride, and hold this piece and chop it and emulsify this fragment. And now I come to the other fragment, hold it, bring it to the center and emulsify this. I will not remove this epinucleus at this moment. This is going to protect the posterior capsule as long as it is there. So I will hold this and chop this nuclear piece and emulsify this nuclear piece. And this another, this is the last piece. And now the epinucleus, I will decrease the vacuum, vacuum tech, salt and sugar. I will give you a little bit of salt and sugar. Hold the epinucleus, bring it to center and emulsify the epinucleus. For the last part of the epinucleus, I will use only 90 vacuum. What is it? 90 yes, So it is done. And now this is very little cortex is there. We remove this cortex. There is no subincisional cortex. No cortex in this side. Some fibers are there. We will do hydro polish for that. What is hydro polish? Two irrigating jets of fluid. I will place it like this and sweep side to side. And thus, all the cells sticking to the posterior capsule will get dislodged and I'm going to have a very clean posterior capsule. Yes. I'm going to use a B cartridge, enlarging the main horn just a bit.
and this is a single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens it goes in the capsular bag so this is hydro implantation you maintain the antechamber by irrigation and implant the lens this lens is rotating because the haptics are not yet fully open once the haptics are open it will be stable and now this is a bit of moxifloxacin Hydrating the side port, corneal stoma is hydrated, and the side port gets closed. And now the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The haptics are fully open now. and the lens is stable now see how to form the anterior chamber you occlude the main wound completely like this and come out and now you check the if there is any leakage from the wound or not there is no leakage few drops of moxi has been applied over the ocular surface no leakage intraocular pressure is firm and the high side and we conclude the case thank you very much for your attention